Good morning from the homestead in Montana today. We are almost to the middle of November 2019. Um, we had rain last night for a couple hours. <laughs> We've had below zero weather. We've had snow. Last night we had rain. I bet it was a good, you know, quarter of an inch of rain. It rained for a couple hours. Um, as we are going into the weekend, it looks like we're going to possibly get um, up to 50s and 60s again. So this Montana weather this year is just totally, totally crazy. But, you know, I'm okay with it. Um, we get a couple of days of rest while it's storming, snowing. It gets nice. We can come back out and do more projects. Um, Cowboy got a lot done. I handed him up some more tin yesterday to the roof. He's got the whole, let's see right there. The whole back wall is done. And then half of the roof done. We still have the ends to put up. Um, but we're hopefully going for more lumber today. Um, we're letting the sun come out, make sure the roads get um, cleared off because where we're going, um, it could be a little slick, a little icy. So, but everything's wet, sloppy wet, and it was bad yesterday. So today is really sloppy. But once again, it's a beautiful day in Montana. Love every season, all four seasons. I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, sometimes it gets a little long, the winter. But, you know, if you get a break in between, it does pretty good. My girls are begging, but I'm not going to give them much hay there over the fence because it is so sloppy. They have a feeder back here that they can go to, but they saw me throwing hay to my goats. And they think it's probably better hay than what they're getting, which it's not. It's the same. So, and actually, my chickens are happy today. They're out. Finally, I didn't have to chase them out today. Yesterday was <laughs> after the cold and they just figured, you know, it's cold outside and they were not going to come out. But today they were out this morning by the time I got out here. And I do have roosters in there that ended up hatching late summer and they need to go to the freezer camp. I'm just not sure on the right day for that for Cowboy and I with what's going on on the homestead right now. But eventually, I'm going to have to put some in the freezer. Um, we have a rooster thawing right now in our fridge that we had butchered earlier this spring. Or middle summer, I guess. And those have been so good. Um, when I first roasted it, they had a little age on them. So when I first roasted them, um, they were a little tough because I should have slow cooked it a little more but I did go ahead and um, chop up what was left of the chicken because there's not a lot of meat on them and as we got down to it I picked the bones off I chopped that up into fine pieces made a, a mayonnaise and relish sandwich spread with it and it was so good in fact that's what I did last night um, we had cooked a big chunk of um, I want to say salmon on our cook stove the night before and we still had a good chunk left so yesterday I took it off made sure I didn't have any bones and I put some of our home made relish in it a scoop of mayo and we had a really good salmon spread sandwich last night so you know don't get rid of that meat even if it's just a little bit and you don't think that you can use it for anything if you don't have a grinder just chop it up really fine add you can even add a hard-boiled egg um, a little mayonnaise mayonnaise or even dill pickle but I used our relish and it's really a good um, sandwich or even spread on crackers so don't get rid of that little bit of meat if you can do something with it like that and get it one more meal or even if it's a snack it's it's a good snack so anyway there she is again my little escape artist she likes to get out but then she stands there looks sad tells me I can't get back in 
So I'm guessing what she's doing is she's sneaking out this way, right there at that post. And the panel's got a little sharp end on it, and I'm guessing she can't get back in because of that. So I'm going to have to tighten that up a little bit more. I'll get her in one more time and see if that's the spot that she's sneaking out. I thought she was sneaking through the little holes, but I'm not sure yet. You know, she might have found a little bigger space somewhere that she's getting through, but I don't know where it would be. That would have to be the spot. So, anyway, just thought I would pop on this morning, let you see Montana on a November morning doing chores after we've had rain all night. So, this shed that Cowboy is building is going to be actually a winter barn half of it will be split and one side let's see this side over here will be the goats all these goats will be able to go into it and this side will be for the little cows the jerseys this red barn we will be moving out of the way and then we will be making our panels go up to that shed I'm still thinking different spots for this barn right now. I'm not really sure where it's going to be the handiest. Where it's at right now, it's not handy at all. So <clears throat> um, I'm thinking of another spot. And it may possibly go into this back pen <clears throat> behind the barn so that I can open it up from this little pen where the cows are standing actually right now. So, a little more thinking on the homestead on how I'm going to do that. Um, but I'm just weighing out my options and taking a look at that. I hate to go in, but there's lots of things I need to do. Yesterday, I would pop in and out from Helping Cowboy on what I could do. I almost dropped my camera again. I did that yesterday. Um, but... I have projects in the house. I did do a little more Christmas shopping online yesterday. I haven't pushed the send it now yet, but I'm working on an order, second order. Um, just some little piddly cleanup jobs in the house, farmhouse that pile up over the summer, um, like taking the fan out to the shed, and I've got a little ice maker we want to get out. We won't be using that. You know, just simple little things that um, will fix up the house a little bit more for the holidays. So, I love my colored goats. And I've had different questions on my goats. I have some dairy, I have some meat, I have um, some um, small Nigerian cross. And what do I use my goats for? Do I raise babies? Do I sell them? Yes, I raise babies and I sell the babies every spring or late summer if they don't want to take them as newborn babies which most of them, some do, if they want a pet, like the little Nigerians, that's what I, how I sell a lot of the Nigerians, our bottle babies. Um, I do have some milking breeds, I have a Nubian. Um, actually, I've got two Nubians. There's a black and white one over here, the big one. There we go. And this big one right here, right there. And then Heidi over there, my white one, is my Sonnen. So those are my milking breeds, and actually, I have milked um, this big brown and white goat back here. She's mainly boar, but she's good and tame. She's got good teeth, so I can milk her. Um, I sell my babies as pets. I sell them some as meat. Not that many as meat, but some. Um, and then some are the dairy breed. So, But I've cut my herd way down this year. I last year kitted out 40 plus um, nannies and so I've really cut back on my herd just for the fact that I'm getting some age on me it's getting a little harder kidding out um, I'm actually gonna wait to breed these until um, probably December maybe even later so I have babies born in the nice weather so that's gonna make my job easier so anyway I'm gonna head in Check the wood on the fire, grab a cup of coffee, and get with this day. God bless and take care.